uh, Chuck Engelbrecht here with Novatech. Um, uh, I saw your email to Stephanie. I, I just wanted to do a quick little uh, tutorial on um, AAR, and uh, uh, hopefully this will uh, uh, help you out. Um, basically, what I've got here is an NCD file that I'm going to open. And to get to AAR, once you've installed it and it's on your um, in, in NCD and the key file is installed, <coughs> AAR is part of the add-ons. You're going to click Alarm Archive Retentive, and you'll see this screen pop up. Basically, what AAR does is you go in on the General tab and set up your archive options. If you want to use Retentive, uh, and if you want to use alarms, it uh, basically is just um, to retain like a logic um, point so that when the Orion reboots, uh, if you've got a logic point that you've created and you want uh, the Orion to retain that last known state when it comes back online, that's what the retentive uh, allows you to do. Uh, archive allows you to archive points that are in the database and the alarm option allows you to create points in the database that can then go to an alarm screen. Um, so basically, when we look at the inputs, these are all the points in the database that have been configured from the different devices, uh, whether they're serial port devices, or whether they're network port devices, so DMP, Modbus, it doesn't matter. These are all the points that reside in the database. So basically what we do is we highlight the points that we want to um, show up in, oops, I'm sorry, to show up in our um, tab over here on the right, which gives us the option to check the points that we want to alarm on, archive on, and retain on. So this is all the points. Uh, your specific question is archiving uh, like analog points, Modbus points. So if I click on the archive tab, I can see over here I've got some current values, kilowatts, megawatts. The only the only decision I have to make here is how do I want these points archived? So there's a couple of drop down menus. We can archive them based on events, which is a change in dead band. We can archive them based on Time. So every 15 minutes, every minute, every five minutes, et cetera, et cetera. So that point that's in the database is going to get archived in the uh, PostgreSQL database every five minutes. This particular point, if we wanted it based on events, would be based on a dead band. And so we just have to uh, select our dead band, and uh, that's the point. When that point goes above that value, that's when the point gets archived. Here, event and timed, it's going to get archived based on a change in dead band. If the dead band never occurs, then it's still going to get archived every 15 minutes. Once we've completed our configuration, we download the file to the Orion. And then what this gives us the ability to do is go in and look at the alarms. And so when I search on the alarms, basically it's going to give me a text formatted version of a, an enunciate. So these are going to be points that are in alarm and points that have been acknowledged. And so if I acknowledge it all, it will um, change colors. The point that was green went away because it had already been acknowledged, it's no longer an alarm. This particular point has been acknowledged, but is still an alarm. Now the archive, the points that you set up in archive uh, show up here under the um, uh, tabular format, and it's just a chronological sequence of the date and time of the point name and any alias name that you've assigned and any value that was associated with that particular point, or if it was archived based upon um, a time change. And this will continue to just write data into the database, and it will basically overwrite, um, and I forget, it just it depends upon how often you archive it and uh, how many points there are that get archived, but you know, literally you could store years worth of data before this stuff overwrites. Um, 
you also have the ability to view trending. Uh, in this particular application, all you do is you choose a date and a time. So let's choose uh, Monday the 15th, set that time. Choose today, set that time. And then let's look at, you can plot up to uh, um, eight points in the database. So you just, let's, let's look at uh, line A amps and uh, line B amps, update view. It's a large database, so this may take a few minutes here. And so now what we have is a chart that gives us the archived information. As you scroll across, you can get specific points of information. Um, I think that's a pretty quick little tutorial. Uh, I think you've probably got the protocol documents. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to call me, 303-886-2402. Uh, I'll uh, zip this file up and send it to you. Thanks.